After the U.S. officially initiated biological weapons program, U.S. scientists conducted a series of intense research, including the genetic modification of insects and plants, to fulfill the needs of biological weapons research. At present, there have been over 200 established U.S. biology labs around the globe. Most of them are deployed in the Commonwealth of Independent States, such as Ukraine and Georgia. Over the years, there have been multiple public crises resulted from virus releases and experiments of biological weapons in U.S. labs. As early as in 1981, the U.S. Biodefense Lab in Fort Detrick had already been using mosquitoes as virus carriers in biological attack research programs. As the research went further, the need for decoding human genetics from scientists grew rapidly. In 1985, the U.S. proposed the Human Genome Project. The project was officially initiated in 1990. In April 2003, the gene sequencing in the Human Genome Project was completed. However, such a beneficial achievement from the project became the base of a dangerous serial biological weapons research program. After George W. Bush was sworn in as the U.S. President in 2001, the U.S. promptly withdrew from the United Nations Biological Weapons Convention. Next, the U.S. began to research the principle of insect-borne diseases in the Richard Lugar Research Center located in the suburban Tbilisi, Georgia. After the incident of 9-1-1, in October 2001, a series of terrorism anthrax attacks took place in the U.S. The Pentagon sending out live anthrax by mistake, FedEx, from one base in Utah. At first, we were told to labs in nine states. Well, tonight comes word, samples sent to nearly twice as many states, 17 now. Body is showing signs of infection. 31 people now protectively on antibiotics, eight civilians, and 23 DOD employees. And the anthrax scare swept the entire U.S. Up until 2008, the FBI finally disclosed the major suspect of the case, Bruce Edwards Ivans, a worker from Fort Detrick Labs, Maryland. But the circumstantial evidence makes a strong argument that the dead researcher had the means and the motive to be the killer behind the 2001 anthrax attacks. In 2007, the U.S. Georgia outpost lab deliberately released the African swan virus. The virus gradually spread from Georgia to Russia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and other Eastern European countries. Meanwhile, the subprime crisis outbreak in the domestic U.S. On the other hand, the U.S. military budget was already 405 billion U.S. dollars in as early as 2003, and the figure reached 450 billion in 2004. The scale of this budget is equal to the total military budgets of Russia, China, United Kingdom, France, and other 191 countries combined. Nonetheless, virus research requires mass funding on a long-term basis. With the U.S. suspend its tremendously costly biological weapons research under the pressure from the subprime crisis, 